Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. I thought that I would remake a more modern version of a very important video that I made a while ago. That is how to get your bird to start eating pellets. So everyone who always comments that they can't listen to the video because their parrots start responding to my parrots, I'm so sorry, please turn on subtitles. So first things first, so why do you want them to eat pellets in the first place? There's this huge misconception that parrots eat seeds. Seeds have no nutritional value for them. They are basically like eating cakes. So we definitely don't want to be feeding them cake every day. They can be used as treats and occasional. But the problem is that if you sprinkle it and try and mix it in with their vegetables or their pellets, they're going to just pick out the seeds. It's what they like. Remember that birds are like kids. Why would a kid choose broccoli over a piece of chocolate and there are birds that have gotten to the point where they're considered seed addicts and it gets very difficult to switch them over keep in mind switch over is not going to occur in a day it's going to take time especially depending how long you've been feeding them seeds and how kind of addicted they are to it and i got lusa she had been fed seeds her whole life i got her when she was four years old. The switch over, I had to invent some methods. I didn't use, you know, methods that usually people would suggest or that the veterinary really suggested. I had to get creative because she was what you would consider a seed addict. But I actually got her to switch over in two weeks, which is, I, I swear, like a Guinness World Record. I do want to say that a huge contribution to that was the fact that Kiwi and Mango were huge influences for her. Because when I got them, Kiwi and mango have always been on a healthy diet so they influenced her diet a lot especially because i would do kind of a community feeding and they would all eat together on a large plate these are the kind of methods i have developed and it's going to start with you picking out what pellets you want to feed them some pellets that really are recommended are harrison hops and Zupreme. personally i use supreme i did find that this did help to convert easier and keep in mind that you can always switch pellets later on you find that supreme because of its like small sugar content keep in mind it's not like it's a lot it does help you know to make it more appealing to the taste so once you pick your pellet brand you are going to try and them adjusted to the taste so in order to do this you are going to find something that you could put the pellets into but you're not going to put them in as a whole. You're actually going to turn them into a powder. So you can do this by putting them in a food processor or crushing them by hand. But I do recommend a food processor. It's going to make your life much easier. Now, if they do like fruits, that's already a very easy step forward. And you're going to just sprinkle some of that pellet powder onto the fruit and get them to eat that whether it's just one bite every single day don't coat the whole like fruit just a little bit this is gonna slowly get them used to the taste of the pellet how to make a little birdie cake that i created you can also put some pellet powder into that and it's probably going to be very enjoyable for that you should put the pellet powder into now the way that i did it i took a bit of a leap and i put it into the chop if you guys don't know what chop is i have a video in my channel of how to make chop and either way you're going to have to introduce them you're gonna have to introduce them to this because it is going to be part of their diet they were already accustomed to chop so when i was giving it to them 
I would introduce it to Lisa and she would actually get interested because she saw everyone else eating it and she actually really enjoyed it. That's my personal recipe. I do recommend making it. You could put it into a container and give a little bit every day because you don't know if they're going to actually like it and eat it or if they're going to be like, ew, this is gross. Give me my chocolate. Chocolate, not actual chocolate. Well, you know what? We're going to switch this to cake. Give me my cake because I don't want people to mistake in this and give their parents chocolate. Chocolate will kill them. If you're having trouble with your parrot and vegetables, keep in mind parrots can get really picky they have likes and dislikes for certain vegetables if they're from drier climates they prefer drier chop if they're from wetter climates then they're going to prefer wetter chop they have texture preferences they can even go as far as to have a preference for a certain color bell pepper we're getting some weird commentary today and honestly this is the method that i absolutely most recommend sprinkle the pellets over this vegetable on top of everything get them to eat it or like i said anything else that they will <laughs> do not start mixing the pellets with seeds like i said they're just gonna pick out the seeds now keep in mind as you're doing this process you want to when you serve anything with the powder to remove the seeds don't leave that option because if you're gonna put a plate of vegetables and leave the cake right there as an option like i say they're gonna choose the cake so remove the seeds little by little every day for a certain time being as you present to them healthier food at first they might reject it they might be like no give me my cake and if they really do refuse for a while return the seeds to them. It's better to eat something than nothing. Every single day, continue this process. You might be wasting food, but in the long run, it's gonna be a better payout. And as you remove the seeds, present a bowl of the pellets on top of presenting, you know, the other powder pellets. Once they start getting accustomed to the taste, accustomed to whatever you're giving them, let's say after a week of giving it to them, that should be enough time to start getting more accustomed to what they're eating. They're gonna start recognizing the pellets. Now they might not go for the pellets, they might not show interest, they might show interest. If they show interest, great, they might not though. So what I personally did is I spoon fed. I would grab a singular pellet and put it into their mouth. They might just be like, blah, what is this gross? They might kind of, you know, lick it like a lollipop, kind of savor it in their mouth and spit it out. Again, getting them used to the size, the actual texture. They already recognize the taste, so it's not new to them. Something that helps a lot and whichever species of parrots it is, they are going to find this easier to eat. And some parrots do it naturally, some don't, is just dip it in water. This is gonna soften it up, make it easier to eat, and for some reason make it a little bit more appealing. So just give it a dip in the water, again, put it in the every day and just keep doing this. Eventually Eventually, you're going to reach a day where they actually decide to eat it. They ate a whole pellet. Amazing. We're going to continue with this. They ate a whole pellet. Give them the next one. Again, might spit it out. Might eat it. And remember that the seeds should not be present. Not even the bag of seeds should be seen. Because if they see that, they're, they're smart. They're going to be like, excuse me, my actual food's right there. Give it to me. And as you keep doing this, they're going to start eating the pellets for longer. Again, make sure that you're switching it out. And you're reducing the time the seeds are out, increasing the time the pellets are out. Until you can fully remove the seeds and entrust that they're actually feeding themselves with the pellets. Maybe the first few days that the pellets are fully there, they might not eat as much. Make sure that you're providing with them. Again, chop. Nut-wise, I recommend giving them walnuts or almonds. I don't recommend heavier nuts like cashews or pistachios. Absolutely not peanuts. Peanuts are so full of fat. They have led to so many issues in parrots and needing vet visits, fatty liver disease, or intestinal problems requiring surgery, shortening their lifespan. The, the list goes on. Hopefully, using the same method, you are also getting them to eat vegetables. Even though it also helps a lot if you show interest in the food as well. I'm a very curious person, <laughs> so I could try the pellets. They taste like crackers. They really just taste like crackers. I'm gonna grab that instead and just kind of be like, mmm, delicious. You know, got vegetables as well. If you serve yourself a little salad, no, no dressing or anything, and kind of eat it along uh, and be like, oh, this is so good. And then they might go to the bowl and kind of pick out some vegetables too. Birds are community animals. If they see you, they're who they're bonded to, who they love, showing interest in something, they're immediately going to show interest as well. If they're not, if they don't like fruits, grab fruits for yourself. Fruits are delicious. Eat the fruit in front of them. Be like, oh, this is so good. You want to try some? And again, they have fruit preferences as well. This one loves, pap <laughs> loves papaya, apples, and blueberries. 
These two like blueberries, but only when they're hand fed. They also love bananas. They all don't like strawberries. As you can see, very specific fruit preferences. Sometimes they'll eat raspberries, sometimes they won't. You just want to give them the healthiest, purest diet you can. The healthier it is, the healthier, longer life your parrot's gonna have. The happier their mood's gonna be, the more energy they're going to have. You don't want to bring them into this lifestyle where they're eating so much processed McDonald's type food. Think about what that does to the human body. Think about how much you love your birds and how you don't want that for them. Don't give up. Be so patient with them. Like I say, the outcome is going to be fantastic. If you need help with anything, if you need extra guidance, if you're absolutely stuck on what to do and you're like, man, I've tried everything and nothing's working, please reach out to me. Whether it be my Instagram DMs or in the comments down below, although I can personally just guide you better if it's in my Instagram DMs because we can talk through more. Sometimes I get notifications on YouTube, sometimes I don't. If this video was helpful, if this video was helpful, make sure to hit subscribe, like, follow us on our social media pages. I'm not active on TikTok anymore, now it's really just Instagram. As well, check out our Etsy shop. I will leave all the links down below as well I'm trying to make more videos more often it might not be super often like before if you guys have any video requests make sure you to leave it down below i am always looking for video ideas sometimes i really have no idea what to talk about i talk about so much on my channel as usual see you guys next time Bye bye